If you search for this review, there's a good chance you already know who Ben Milliken is, but for those who don't, I'll fill you in quickly. Ben Milliken is a professional bass angler, currently in his debut season fishing the Bassmaster Opens. So far in his first season, he's already put together two top five finishes, including one victory at Toledo Bend. He's also among the top 10 in points and is already qualified for the Bassmaster Elites. He's already making a name for himself as one of the best and most versatile bass fishermen on the planet. Ben's been fishing in tournaments for his entire life, but before that, he was a multi-species fisherman, just like myself. He's mastered just about every type of fishing that you can think of, and he's one of the main inspirations for me, not only creating content, but also getting back into fishing. One of my favorite things about Ben is that he's not afraid to go against the grain. He's not just copying what other pros are doing, but instead, through learning about fish behavior, he's created and modified a lot of his own techniques and developed his own fishing style. Ben is a partial owner of Sixth Sense Fishing, and he's had a huge hand in developing a lot of their products. And one of the things that I admire most about Ben is that he won't put his name on anything that isn't of the absolute highest quality. So when the time came for me to purchase my first high quality, high end bass fishing rod, I decided to try Milliken's owned MF or series casting rod. I've now been using this rod for one full year and we're going to review it today. The rod comes equipped with a tapered EVA split grip handle and this is now the only type of handle that I will use with a casting rod. It's extremely comfortable and gives you amazing control and power on every cast and that split grip also minimizes the overall weight of the rod. At the top of the handle, the finger rest on the back of the reel seat is perfectly placed to give you the best possible grip on your reel. The two-piece reel seat leaves the rod blank exposed in the back where your fingers are resting while you're holding your reel. This means that you'll be directly connected with that rod blank and that's going to provide maximum sensitivity. Now the rod blank itself is comprised of a high modulus Torre Japanese graphite and the entire blank all the way up to the tip of the rod is wrapped in a multi-layer carbon cloth. But what the heck does that even mean? It's literally carbon fiber. The entire rod is wrapped in carbon fiber and that's going to make it very very strong while still keeping it very, very lightweight. Now heading back down to the base of the blank, we have our hook keeper. And the hook keeper here is a little bit different than your traditional hook keeper. The special U-shaped hook keeper here is designed so that you can secure your lure without having to back the barb out of your soft plastic. If you're carrying multiple combos with you and you're gonna be switching between them, that's gonna help increase the longevity of your soft plastics. Now moving on up to the guide set on this rod. There are 10 total guides on this rod. They consist of Fuji aluminum oxide guide rings embedded in stainless steel frames and this composition works to maximize the sensitivity while minimizing the line friction as the line passes through the guides. All right we've covered the components and composition of the rod but now I want to give you guys my experience with the rod after having used it for one year and go over the pros and cons. The MF or series of rods comes in both spinning and casting at a variety of lengths, flexes, and actions. But my rod is the seven foot two medium heavy moderate fast action rod and I chose this specifically to be as versatile as possible. I'm currently not in a place where I can buy a premium rod for every single technique that I'm fishing, so I wanted to get one that could do as many techniques as possible. And I'm a multi-species fisherman, so I'm not just using this rod for bass, I'm targeting things like lake trout, musky, pike, catfish, all kinds of different stuff with this rod. But if you're looking for a rod that's strictly for bass fishing in the MF or series, this is the one that's gonna cover the most techniques. Over the past year, I've used this rod for everything from soft plastics, to jigs, to whopper ploppers, to spinner baits, to crank baits, giant swim baits. I've used it for some stuff that I probably shouldn't have been using it for. One of my favorite things about my particular rod is the moderate fast action. The tip on this rod is fast enough to set the hook from 75 to 100 feet with a topwater frog, but slow enough to set the hook properly with those steady retrieve baits like your crank baits and your whopper ploppers and stuff like that. It's not too difficult to mimic a fast action with the moderate fast tip if you just set the hook a little bit faster. Another pro with this rod is the unbelievable strength of it coming from that woven carbon fiber. It is an absolute beast of a rod. I have fully loaded this rod and torture tested it by dragging some big bass through some really, really dense vegetation. In some situations, I put about as much pressure as you could possibly put on this rod and it stood up to the task. Another pro, and actually the first thing that I noticed about the rod is that it is extremely lightweight. One of the big reasons for that extreme lightweight is because of the quality of the materials like that carbon fiber. And another reason is because they've cut out a lot of the unnecessary material without sacrificing the comfort. For example, like the split grip handle and the split reel seat. Okay, now let's talk about the cons. And I do have a couple with this rod because there's always room for improvement. For starters, the guides on this rod are listed as being medium 
medium size, but they're actually quite small. They're smaller than the guides on any of my other rods. Now, if you're using this rod strictly to fish for bass, this probably won't affect you at all. You're probably never gonna find yourself in a situation where you're tying your braided mainline to a 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. A 40 pound fluoro leader is just not necessary for bass, but if you're like me and you like to fish for pike and musky and things that have sharp teeth, sometimes you need a little bit heavier of a leader. The small guides on this rod are gonna limit the types of knots you can tie for your line to leader connection, especially if you're using those heavy, thick diameter fluorocarbon leaders. With those small guides, you're not gonna be able to tie something like an Alberto knot with a heavy fluorocarbon leader like that. It simply won't come through the guide, so you're gonna be limited to something like an FG knot which is a lot more difficult to tie. Now, like I said, this probably won't apply to most of you guys that just wanna target bass, but just in case you're a multi-species guy like me, that was a con that I found, is that the guides were too small. And the last con I have here is also something that's small and might not bother you, but if you do care about the appearance of your equipment, I'm not a huge fan of the dark green color that they used on the blank. To me, it's kind of an odd choice. It just doesn't match up with a lot of the colors of the reels that you would put on something like this. Maybe it's a small insignificant thing. I care more about the quality of the rod, but it's not the best color. So now we've covered the main pros and cons of the rod for me after one year of use and we're at the conclusion. Would I recommend this rod to you? And the answer is an astounding hell yes. The quality of the components in this rod is something you would find typically in rods at the $200 to $300 price point, and this one is priced significantly lower than that. This is hands down the lightest, strongest, and most versatile rod in my arsenal, and paired up with my Shimano Tranx 200 Baitcaster reel and my 20 pound Daiwa J Braid X8, it's probably my favorite combo that I've ever owned, and I do have some other good ones. If you're fishing with some lower end equipment and you're just looking for your first premium rod, this is an excellent one to go with. Slap a seven speed reel on this thing and you can fish just about any technique you can think of. Now this is not a sponsored review but I'm going to leave a link down in the description where you guys can check out this rod if you're interested and subscribe to the channel if you want to see me catch some absolute giant freakish fish with this thing and I'll see you guys in the next video.